Guys, we're at the Activision booth and this is the EB Game Show 2011 Expo. And before we get to Call of Duty, because I know that's what everyone wants to see, we're going to be taking a quick look at Skylanders. That's the new game starring Spyro. And this one's actually been a bit of a surprise hit of the show. So let's try and find someone to talk to us a little bit about it. Over here, so over here we got Catherine. Hey Catherine, how you doing? Good, very good. Yeah, so can you talk to us a little bit about what the game's about? Look, Skylanders is pretty exciting. It's completely new for this industry. It's what we are calling mixing the virtual world against the physical world of toys. We've got these fabulous toys, and the reason why these toys are so special is they hold all the memory of the game in their individual toy. That's why they're toys with brains. Plus, the great thing about it is you can take the toys from any console on here. So if I've got a PS3 and you've got an Xbox, I can take my toy over to your Xbox and I can play it on your Xbox. Cool. And do you know how much the toys are going to retail for? Yeah, about $14.95, the individual toys. Sweet. And who are you aiming this at? I mean, it looks like a bit of a kids game, but there's obviously adults playing it right now. Yeah, well, let's face it, our bullseye are boys around seven, but we're finding that boys around 30 and 35, 40 are absolutely loving it. It's a whole collectability part of it. So they're calling it the new Pokemon. I hope it does become the new Pokemon. Cool, thanks for that. Our yeah. pleasure. Cool. All right, so over here we've got a little game called Golden Eye. Um, last year it released on the Wii, and now it's coming back for a HD sort of take. Oh, we have GoldenEye 007 Reloaded. It's going to be out on the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. We've got some multiplayer action going on right now. It looks like they've got a P90 on the top screen and an automatic shotgun on the bottom one. Here we've got a little bit, a bit of um, Prototype, uh, Prototype 2 rather. And then over here, we can't actually show you Call of Duty because they're only showing this one behind closed doors. But what Activision do have out in the open is this enormous APC tank. It's got massive like tires there inside of it. Inside of it, they've got like Kevlar helmets for people to try on, as you can see there. Apparently, there's a bit of a story to this. Some dude who just lives up in Queensland is an ex-vet and he owns this and he drove it here. They had to rip up the tiles of the convention center to actually get it in because apparently it's too heavy and it would have smashed the tiles. Um, it's pretty cramped though and I can't say I would really want to go into combat with it. It also has some replica weapons up top, so you've got a Mark 19 grenade launcher up there. Obviously doesn't work and isn't real. And then on the other side I think you have a 50 caliber machine gun. 